Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Early Sunday morning and some massive news for the USC Trojan fans coming out of the recruiting trail as five-star defensive lineman Justice Terry flips his commitment from the Georgia Bulldogs to this USC program. And this is a guy that is an absolute game wrecker. He is the number two defensive lineman in the country for a reason. I want to get into Justice Terry, take a look at the film, talk about what he brings to the table. But what I want to start with is Coach Henderson taking over this defensive line. And really, I think we're getting a feel for what the recruiting game is going to look like for Coach Henderson. And it starts with having one of the best and unique recruiting pitches that you can have across the country. That's not an NIL package. It is what he's done with Aaron Donald. It's what he's done at the NFL level. You look at guys like Justice Terry, they grew up with pictures on their wall of Aaron Donald. Those are the That is the guy that they look up to, one of the best, if not the best defensive linemen we've seen in the history of the sport. What better way to sell five-star defensive linemen to come to your program than saying, hey, I helped create – one of the one of the most dominant players of all time at the NFL level at your position. I think that's what's most exciting for this USC program. Justice Terry seems like just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what this could look like for USC on the recruiting trail. Want to dive into Justice Terry? Talk about what he brings to the table before we do. As always, just want to say thank you to you guys. A massive shout out to the USC fans. Cannot thank you guys enough for rocking with the fellas. You all know I have a blast talking this program on the recruiting trail. Even got the commitment sweatshirt on me right now. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys. And without further ado, let's get into Justice Terry. And want to start with what Justice Terry, what really sets Justice Terry apart from a lot of other defensive linemen that we see in this 2025 class. Now, we talked a little bit about him earlier yesterday morning. I want to dive into the film, and I think the first thing that excites you is, one, the versatility. Justice Terry is a guy that he lines up as a three-tech, he lines up as an edge rusher, and he dominates at both sides, right? He's a guy that can win outside with his power against tackles. He's a guy that can win inside with his quickness and get off against interior guys. And I think that he probably projects better on the inside of the defensive line heading to the college football level. He, he carries 275 pounds extremely well but he's a guy that I could see giving tackles some serious problems with his power at the college game as well now getting into the film you kind of just get a sense of I mean why we're so high on Justice Terry one the get off for some of 275 working kind of over that center here it is easy for him to win with his speed his quickness and his get off in the line of scrimmage but then you're going to see him work as an edge rusher at times too, and you're going to see him just get off the ball at a different level. His ability to get going, close distance between him and the ball carrier is extremely impressive. I mean, you take a look at that rep right there. This is this is kind of why you want Justice Terry, right? This stuff, this looks a little bit different in terms of what we what other guys we've seen on the recruiting trail. A nasty swim move. He bends the corner a guy that has that closing speed and that functional athleticism too. When you start combining the length, using your hands, the closing speed, the flexibility that you have as a bigger body defensive lineman, that's when you start to get special defensive lineman, Justice Terry. Again, raw power. I mean, he's a guy that can win with just power, but I think he's also fun to watch because he can win certainly with his speed and athleticism as well. Working as an edge rusher again, I mean, just – he gets off blocks. He has violent hands. I think he's I think he's an absolute freak show for the athletic profile that he has against 6'5, 275. Now you take a look at what USC is doing in this 2025 class. Your two top commits, your only two commitments for USC are average to be top 15 nationally with Justice Terry, Julian Lewis. It's a small class right now. But the way that visit weekend just went, you start feeling really good about what this USC program could be and could look like in that 2025 class over the next couple of days. A couple other guys I just want to comment on. Five-star edge rusher Isaiah Gibson from the state of Georgia. There's a lot of buzz that USC has really stood out for Isaiah Gibson as well. That would be massive. And then 
Elijah Griffin. I think Elijah Griffin had a really good visit as well. You talk about, I mean, Lincoln Riley, it's no secret what he wants to get better at heading into 2025, right? He wants to establish both sides of the line of scrimmage heading into the Big Ten. I think Justice Terry certainly does that. Wanted to hop on early Sunday morning, give you guys a little bit of an update on what's going on with this USC program. Appreciate y'all rocking with the boys. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys. And we'll talk to y'all later.